Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another cool one for you. We're working on a 2011 Dodge Ram half ton. That's the 5.7 liter Hemi, six speed automatic transmission because I didn't have the eight speed back then. And, uh, no factory remote start. This customer is a very nice little old lady. She's uh, very pleasant. I can't wait to make her day with her new remote starter. Like always, I'm just gonna do a real quick run through with you on the vehicle itself, I'm calling and I'll show you before and after we're done the installation. So let's hop right into it. So on the outset, the dash looks very, very similar to the Dodge that we've done in the past. However, this installation is actually a quite a bit different from the previous one. So I'll tear this dash apart and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So like I said, the vehicle disassembly is very much similar to what you've seen in the past. With this install in particular, this is our ignition harness, which looks a little bit different from the last one that you may have seen. I don't know if I went in close enough on it for you to actually see it. But everything that is required for this installation is in this plug. So we've got power, ground, all of the ignition, the mucks, as, as well as the two can wires that we need to tie into. This is the park light location, which is fairly typical. You've seen this before, uh, but we're gonna tie into, we're gonna tie into this wire right here for park lights. And then of course the, the side of the dash is left off so that when we run our antenna through there, uh, we can get through the dash super easy and make it look really clean. And then we go out under hood and of course install a hood pin to ensure safe operation of this remote starter going forward. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the remote starter itself prepped up and installed, and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Okay, and this is what it looks like after the job has been completed. Similar to what you've seen before, you can see my harness up there going to the ignition node. Again, my brain is off to the left here. Nothing fancy, looks good. Ready to wrap it up for this customer. And then of course, just for testing and validation purposes, we wanna make sure that everything's working. There's your standard iData start remote, lock, unlock, start. Lock is good. Unlock is good. Press and hold for remote start. And as expected, remote start is fine too. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down, doing the same thing. Press and hold the start button. Uh, we also gave this customer the ability to start using their factory remote, so we can just do three times lock, and it will remote start the vehicle in the same manner. And of course, we can also shut it down the same way. Super convenient. It's not something that we charge extra for. It's just something that we add on to any vehicle that we can. It just makes things that much easier for the customer. They, they can use this in the summertime without actually having to carry their remotes with them. Just an added benefit. All right, so that's the 2011 Dodge Ram all wrapped up and ready to go, ready to be delivered back to this customer. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, shoot me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. All right, I'm going to pull this Ram out of here and get started on the next job. I'll see you guys very, very soon.